yay you clicked on the video thank you so much for clicking on the video so today i'm making a circular turd bag and this is my first attempt at making anything bad this would be my inspiration i'm going to be making an attempt to make a circular tote bag and um, I don't know the dimension of this bag but I'm just going to do or guess something I'm just going to make something a size that I think will be comfortable for me all right so I'm going to be making my own DIY circular tote bag from patch fabrics I had at home I'll be using this Ankara I think I, I love the pattern and I love the color and I'll be mixing it with this one it looks like denim but it's actually not denim it's quite a thick fabric i'll mix the two i think it'll come out nice right and then i'll be using a medium paper stay and wadding soft wadding my lining wait where's my lining hold on i'm coming and just because this is a diy and i tell what i use i'll be using this <laughs> Well, I just feel let me use this now, Abby. Is there a rule against using this color to line this bag? Actually, I don't know if you can see it, but this fabric has some sort of red on it. So it's okay to use red. <laughs> Alright, so let's just get started on the cutting and I'll show you the whole process and let's see if this video isn't going to be a flop. Yes, let's see that. So first to cut the body of the bag, I'm going to cut two pieces of circles and for my measurement, I'm just going to use seven inches. So I'm going to fold this into four. And then from this point, I'm going to start marking seven inches all the way round. And then I'll add extra one inch for joining allowance. I'm going to cut another piece of this from the Ankara fabric. So yeah, I've cut another piece. Of the circle making two circles now so on the Ankara on the Ankara side of the bag I want to make a pocket an outside pocket using the the other fabric so I'm just going to fold this to how big I want the pockets to be so I want the pocket this big so I'm going to use this now to cut the denim So it's going to look something like this on the back where, where this will be the pocket. So next I'm going to measure the circumference of this circle all around and whatever the length is is what I'll use to cut a strip of fabric. So this is 30 inches. So I'm going to cut a long strip of 30 inches by 3.5 inches the width to be 3.5 and the length to be 30 inches well i could not get a straight strip of 30 inches so i'm going to cut 15 15 inches each which i'll later join join it together So the length of the strips is 15.5 um, inches each. So I'm going to join them together later on by 0.5 so I can have a long strip of 30 inches. The handles I have cut uh, 21 inches by 3.5 inches. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to cut the lining and the stay for each of the pieces and then we can start sewing. Guys, it's raining. <laughs> I find the sound of rain very satisfying and most of the time I wish it would meet me on my bed but this one this particular rain meets me sewing this circular 
tote bag all right so i've attached the interfacing i've ironed it to the fabrics for the pocket i only attached the medium interface and then also for the handle i also attach just the medium interface this interface is and this fabric they're not friends at all it's not joining together i don't know why and for every other pieces i attached the interface first before the breast pad or wording whatever you call it i call it breast pad <laughs> all right so i'm going to start sewing right now so the first thing i want to do is to turn the pocket the semicircle I cut for the pocket, the outer pocket, I just want to use the lining to turn the edge. Okay, so what I have done now is to place it on uh, the part where I want the pocket to be. And what I've secured it with, um, with pins just to make it stay. So what I'm going to do is to use the lining, I'll place it over it and sew it all round. I'm going to leave an opening for it, for me to turn it back out. For this other side, what I'm going to do is to turn it for the remaining parts, I'm just going to turn it like this and top stitch all round to cover up that part. So I'll do this for or the for the other side and iron the edges so that they can lay flatter a little bit. Also, I'm going to turn this strips. Remember, I cut a 15.5 inches length of strips the other time. So I'm going to join them together now to make 30 inches and also turn turn them with the lining. So for the handles, I'm going to fold them like so and sew on top of it all the way around. So after turning it like so, I'm going to leave about 4 inches, yeah, so from that 4 inch, inch what am I even saying? <laughs> so from that four inches point, I'm going to top stitch again all the way around and stop at another four inches point here. So what I want to do next is to fix the handles. And I have to fix, fix it in such a way that it will align with the second... Um, panel then I'll decide how far away from the midpoint I want the the handle to be so I think three inches is okay So hopefully this will work. So what I'm going to do next is to fold this back like so and top stitch all around it. Same on this side. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is to sew the base. This would be the base. And um, I've sort of marked the midpoint of this part and the midpoint of this part. So I'm going to align the midpoint of this strip also to the midpoint of this and then sew.
Okay, so I'm done with this side. I'm going to do the other side just the same way. So I've turned it out and this is what we have so far. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do next is to finish off this side. I'm just going to trim off the excess and tuck it back in because I want it to stop at the same level with the pocket. So I'm just going to trim off the excess, tuck it in and top stitch. I'll do that for both sides and I think I'll be done with this. <laughs> with this DIY bag. It's looking funny. Well, I will show you when it's done. Ta -da! What do you think? Personally, I think it looks funny, but what do you think, guys? What do you think? It looks like a um, CD disc of those days. Anyway, let's look at some details. Look at the and the handles. So they like so. And for the outer pocket, I think Velcro will be okay. But your sister does not have Velcro, so she used press button. I used press button here too. Don't mind my aunt stitching skills. I have no skill when it comes to aunt stitching. So that would just help me secure the bag. All right, guys. So what do you think? Did I try? What do you think? Do you think I should mind my business or I should do more? Um, I should try more DIYs of making bags. Maybe with time I'll get better. Who knows? <laughs> or maybe I should mind my tailoring business. All right. So this is it for this video. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I'll sure to make sure to use this bag one day, one day. I don't know what that can be easy for. Maybe when I went to the market, I'll just carry it. But that is it for today. If you love this video, kindly give it a thumbs up so I can reach more people and that would really help me and encourage me to make more videos like this one. All right, till next time. Bye-bye.